Hello, I'm Mike Mahaney, Technical Training Coordinator at Kongsberg Mesotech, located in Vancouver, BC. Our office is responsible for the design, manufacture, and sales of underwater acoustic products. We have created this training video for users of our high-resolution sonars for search and recovery operations. In this video, we will show you how to connect the necessary equipment to achieve this goal. The MS-1000 is a Windows-based application and can be configured to control the complete line of Kongsberg Mesotech scanning sonars, altimeters, and battery sensor products. The MS-1000 converts any standard PC into a full-function sonar processor without the need of additional hardware or boards. The MS-1000 key features include simultaneous multiple scanning sonar head and altimeter operation and sensor configuration, time tag recording of all sonar and sensor inputs to the PC's hard drive or external recording device, Advanced target measurement and annotation tools. The track plotter module allowing the user to pre-plot search and survey lines and to geo-reference sonar targets. Networking capability. Optional target tracking. Ping synchronization for multiple head operation. Fused data display for dual head profiling. GeoTIFF image format. 3D profiling with PAN device. The next piece of equipment we're going to discuss is the MS-1000 Splash Proof Interface Unit. The MS-1000 splash-proof interface unit provides an isolated interface between the USB port of a desktop or laptop PC running the MS-1000 software processor and the Kongsberg Mesotech's RS-485 digital telemetry sonar heads. This splash-proof unit accepts both AC and DC supplied voltages and can be used for operation of high-resolution sonar heads over cables up to 750 meters long. The Kevlar cable can be custom ordered to different lengths. The Kevlar operations cable has a pulling strength of approximately 4,000 pounds and a breaking strength of 4,800 kilograms or 10,000 pounds with a bend radius of 10 inches. In order to run your sonar processor with your sonar head connected, you'll need a licensing dongle. The security dongle must be inserted to get the full functionality of the MS-1000 sonar processor. The sonar system comes with a cable accessory kit to connect all your hardware. Now we're going to discuss the 1071 series 675 kilohertz high resolution sonar head. This version of the 1071 series sonar has been specifically designed to produce the highest resolution scanning sonar images possible with a 675 kilohertz frequency. Its design is targeted at bottom clearance, body recovery, underwater construction and applications where data clarity supersedes any other requirement. The last piece of equipment we're going to discuss is a stainless steel gimbal tripod. The tripod consists of the following parts. The sonar protective cage, quick release pins, a weight can be attached to the bottom of the cage to help with stability in currents greater than three knots. Now we're going to show you how the equipment all connects together. It's recommended we tape the pins so they don't get caught up on debris. Line up the nipple on the connector with the alignment mark. Connect the shackle. Connect to the USB input. 
connect the USB to the USB input on your PC. Connect the AC power cable to the AC power cable input. Line up the notch to the notch on the input. And tighten. Plug in the AC power. You can also connect your optional DC input to be used with the marine battery. Next, plug in your operations cable to the sonar input. Line up the notch to the notch on the input. Now you're ready to turn the power on. Insert the security dongle. Open the MS-1000 software program. Upon startup of the software, the sonar transducer aligns to the starting reference point. Select Run. The sonar head will begin calibrating. Make sure the down is selected in the sonar orientation. Ensure your uplink baud rate is set to 460. If using a high resolution sonar head, ensure the high resolution is enabled. After every use, it is recommended you wash off the sonar head and tripod with fresh water. This concludes our sonar training video. If you have any questions regarding the operational use of our sonar, please contact us at the following.